Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. Today we'll do a review of this study, Potential Reversal of Biological Age in Women Following an Eight-Week Methylation Supportive Diet and Lifestyle Program, a case series. This is a follow-up study done by the same team, headed by Dr. Cara Fitzgerald in 2021. The study included six women. The previous one had been men only, and the interventions were lifestyle and diet-based, only with an endpoint of changing the biological age of the participants as measured with an epigenetic clock. The average age of the participants at the start of the trial was 57.9 years. The program was eight weeks and included interventions in diet, sleep, exercise, and relaxation. There were two supplements, a probiotic and the other a plant-based with polyphenols, and the participants received nutritional coaching. The epigenetic clock used was the original Corvath 2013 clock. This was probably because it was the same one used in the original study, and at that time, there were not many alternative methylation-based clocks available. Five of the six participants saw a biological age reduction between 1.22 and 11.01 years, and the mean age reduction of 4.6 years was significant with a p-value of 0.039. The participants were all healthy, so this study suggests that the biological age changes were not related to improvements in a disease, but rather in the underlying mechanisms of aging. Here are the chronological and biological ages at baseline and at the end of the study. Five of the six saw improvements in biological age, while one of them was unchanged. The authors used the student's t-test which is commonly used to decide whether the means of two populations are significantly different. In this case, it showed that the first mean of 51.23 was significantly different from the starting mean of 55.83, with a p-value of 0.039. The interventions were the same as in the previous study, so we'll have a quick review of them. We discussed them in more detail when we spoke with Dr. Fitzgerald about the trial, and you can find that linked above. The details of the diet are given here. You can also get this from the paper, which is freely available. This is the previous study, which had a larger all-male group of 43, though showed similar results. The main author was Dr. Carrot Fitzgerald, and it was published in April 2021. It does provide a little background on the thinking behind the diet. There are a few dietary recommendations which address methylation clocks specifically, though some reduction has been observed in people with a lean meat, fish, and plant-based diet. The authors wanted a more targeted approach, specifically focusing on substances involved in methylation pathways, such as betaine, otherwise known as trimethylglycine, in the TET enzymes, which remove methyl group, such as AKG and vitamin C and A, and modulation of DNMMT, which is an enzyme that maintains methylation during cell division, such as curcumin and EGCG. The diet included some nutrient-dense animal proteins and was low carb to avoid glucose spikes. The other prescriptions apart from diet were supplements including plant polyphenols and lactobacillus plantarum probiotic, 30 minutes of exercise per day, seven hours of sleep, and a specific relaxation practice. In the conclusion, the authors point out that all the interventions were safe, widely accessible, and cost-effective, and did indeed reduce the biological age. The previous study used men only to avoid possible confounding effects related to menopause. So this study showed that the protocol works in both sexes. Also, the participants were healthy, so the changes should not be related to changes in disease state, but rather the underlying mechanisms of aging. One of the major limitations was the small cohort size. Others were using the first generation Horvath clock and not having a control group. It is an interesting study, as it was able to reduce the biological age as measured by the methylation clock in the participants in only eight weeks. What this means depends on what the biological clock is actually measuring, but it does imply that the participant's methylation changed to reflect that of a younger person. I believe Dr. Fitzgerald is also collecting data from her Younger You program based on this trial and the previous one. This will include many more people. Hopefully she will be able to publish that data later. 
Thank you for your attention, and I will speak to you again soon. Thank you.